Okay, so the book I read was The Seven Wonders, The Colossus Rises by Peter Larangus. And um, basically what the book is about is there's this kid named Jack, right? And um, yeah, he's just kind of living a normal life, sort of. You know, he's kind of distant from his dad and his mom died or whatever. And then um, on his way to school one day, he gets into an accident um, and then he gets taken to a hospital where there's a chaplain at the hospital who injects something into him and um, basically he gets kidnapped and then he gets taken to uh, some island he doesn't know where basically and on that island it's explained to him that uh, basically he has this gene that allows him to use 100% of his brain as opposed to just um, having partial access to his mental power, which will eventually um, allow him to do some superhuman stuff. Which And there's other children there at the facility that have developed their abilities and skills more than he has. Um, there's three of them. One of them's named Cass, another one Marco, and the other Allie. And... Um, yeah, it's basically just about them, and um, on, they discover later that that island is actually what remained of Atlantis, and uh, their powers basically can kill them, basically, um, if they go untreated. So on that island, they kind of tr give them treatments every once in a while, but even with the treatments, they won't live forever, and um, they discovered also that the ancient people of Atlantis um, were all like them. They could use 100% of their mental capacity and the powers of Atlantis is what kept them, kept them alive for so long. But those powers weren't there anymore because, um, yeah, because the powers in ancient times got separated into these uh, things, these objects called loculi or loculis for, if you're talking like a singular one, and, um, yeah, those things kind of got out of hand because they gave the royal family um, special powers and the people didn't like that. So they started rioting and one of the princes was going to destroy these objects. But then the other prince kind of stole them and took them away from Atlantis and spread them across the world. But what happened when he did that was that Atlantis fell into chaos and it all got destroyed. So, yeah, that happened. And, um. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of about them trying to find the missing pieces of the power of, of Atlantis so that they can um, live full lives, basically. Um, yeah, would I recommend this book? Um, if, you really, if you're willing to read the whole series, yes, because it's a... Even after you finish the book, there's kind of a lot that is still... That still needs to be, uh, you know, revealed. I haven't read the whole series. It's my first time um, reading this book. And personally, I'm not planning on reading the rest. But if you're going to read this book, then you're probably going to want to read um, the other four installments to the series. Because, yeah, there's still a lot that you don't know. They kind of leave the book on a cliffhanger. Um, but, yeah, if you actually like reading and like me, then... I would definitely recommend this book for sure. Um, the lore is really interesting. There's a lot going on. The beginning is just a little bit slow for me, but I think it's fine, honestly. And yeah, there's a lot of things that are revealed. This, yeah, just an interesting book. Um, a connection that I do want to make um, from this book is, uh, just to teens in general nowadays, because the main character of this book, uh, Jack, um, throughout the book, he just kind of feels really left out and inferior to his peers. He feels like he is just not very useful at all and that he's not contributing, that he's not going to go anywhere, um, with the way that he is, that he just isn't special at all and that anybody could replace him. And, uh, I want to draw that connection with a lot of, uh, teens nowadays because um that's a feeling that a lot of people do get um just a feeling of worthlessness when um they're going through just tough times you know um or whenever they fail at something um it's just a very common feeling and um yeah
the connection that I would like to draw. Mm. So the passage that I chose to give this presentation during this video presentation was um, this one right here. Um, and it goes, uh, shoot, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I thought of my friends back home, wondering where I was about mom and death. Ever since she died, I was wondering what it felt like. Now I knew there was no impact, no transition, no white light, just a lot of nothing. Death felt like floating high above the world on a gust of warm air. My hair blowing in a breeze, a bloodthirsty screech below me. And um, yeah, basically I really like that one because it's the only time in the book where um, you really get to see this side of the main character, Jack, where he's kind of, you know, um, in a near death situation like that. And he's kind of, you know, thinking like very deeply about something. And, you know, I just really like the language that's used um, in that little passage that little paragraph thing and yeah i just really like that part i think it was cool